Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, we will also have a look at symbolic mathematics, but this will be more of a bonus video and will, will be very crisp and short. We will talk about how you can use symbolic expression, write it down, and then convert a function or an expression into a LaTeX expression that you can use for your LaTeX code. Because sometimes, you know, you have big expressions and it is very tedious to write all the brackets and sometimes you forget a bracket and then you don't know where the bracket error or mistake is and you have to really look that up and uh, it's kind of a bit of a debugging mode but this can be very tedious and very daunting to do. So what we do is as always you know the procedure already you define an object in this case x then we define our function let's just execute the script this is our function we prettify the function which looks like this so this is our function and then we just use a very easy function, pre-built function inside of MATLAB, which is called LaTeX. So you just type in LaTeX or LaTeX, however you want to pronounce it, but it's pronounced LaTeX. This gives us the LaTeX expression. So you can just copy and paste this inside of your browser. Go on the page latex 2 pngcom We paste this, we generate it, and you can see this is our code. So this will also work in tech. TechMaker, for instance, or any other IDE you use for your LaTeX code. In this case, we can also download this as a picture, so this is very convenient to use in case you want to have it as a picture and put it into, let's say, a PowerPoint presentation or something like that. So I hope that this video, that you liked this brief video. We can also have a look in a future episode how you can um, generate some kind of report, so where you can use LaTeX and generate plots and put them inside of a PDF. So that's also very cool to do. And that's what's, what I also did in my bachelor thesis and did something how to write automatic report generation. Yeah, that's very cool to do. If you want to have a look at that, please let me know down in the comment section. And if you have any further ideas, I'm also willing to discuss this with you in the comment section. So this was it for the symbolic mathematics series. I hope that you enjoyed it. Feel free to share it with your friends who might benefit from it as always. Give the video a like and as always make sure to keep engineering your mind. See you in the next one and take care. Bye. <laughs>